Hi, hello, my name's Steve. Um, I'm going to show you how to remove these horizon labels from backing paper. <coughs> I have done some already. Um, the first attempt did kind of get messed up. Uh, that was my first attempt. Um, I kind of like accidentally pulled out one of the security tabs on the uh, label. Uh, my second attempt came out kind of a lot better. Uh, I did do a third and fourth attempt. This is my third attempt. As you notice, these are the old um, Type 1 Horizons. Uh, then I went on and tried it on a Type 2 Straight Edge. The Type 1, as you can see, has got like the racket the edges. Um, lucky I've got quite a lot of uh, labels. I've been buying off the internet to resell um, just to make a little bit of extra cash to pay my bills off okay um, what you need is the following equipment a pair of tweezers a brush a ruler if you can try to get hold of a uh, metal ruler because this is um, a bit too flexy so if you can get a metal ruler it would be a lot better and then super lift you can actually purchase super lift from ebay uh, do be careful with it, it doesn't give you any information on what it contains if it's flammable, toxic or anything like that um, don't put it near sunlight or any kind of um, items that give off heat just on the safe side it states only on here super lift for fast clean removal of stamps from backing using closed brush coat backing paper with super lift and leave for a few seconds then peel stamp off now I've actually done a few stamps and they come out pretty good that one is the uh, gold horizon security stamp sorry the security type uh, stamp got a bit of a sore throat <coughs> I can't even bring out the proper words now uh, that's uh, 26 pence it's a second class and um, a foreign Hong Kong stamp so it works on them as well okay just pile into my uh, labels and pull one out. Okay, I'm going to use this one. As you see, it is on paper. Now I'm going to lower my webcam down so you can see what I'm up to and show that I'm not doing any kind of cheats. Okay. Put a bit of blank paper on your table so you won't get the solution covered everywhere. Put the stamp face downwards, like so. Get your solution. Now this bottle actually comes with a built-in brush, so you don't need to go out and buy a brush, because it actually comes with a brush built in. Then all what you do is wipe that all over your stamp, the back of the stamp or label. Now that's one layer. I'm going to put two layers on because some of the paper which these label come on is thicker than the other. Uh, I did have one label which I think was um, this one that was on like thin paper 
and it came off quite easily. Uh, with this one, this is slightly thicker than like printer paper, so no, put a bit extra on. Make sure you cover the whole paper, like so. Put the lid back on, tighten it up just in case, knock it over. Now, best thing to do is wait for about 10 seconds, maybe 15, to let the solution soak through. Now I normally start off with one of the corners. I uh, tend to grab one of the corners and bring it out and take over with my fingers. I do it with all four corners. And as you see the paper is coming off but not fully. So just keep going. It'll actually take off about eighty percent of the paper, I reckon. Okay, move that bit of paper out of the way. Now get your solution again and reapply the solution once again on the back of the stamp because there is still paper left on the stamp itself or on the label I should say. Leave it for five seconds or so. Now this is where the ruler comes in. Because there's paper still stuck on there, you need to scrape it off. So what you can do is start off from one of the corners or even in the middle and use it as if, if you're like um got a chisel and you're chiseling a piece of wood. But in this case you're chiseling the paper. Now don't forget there's security tabs down the bottom. So when you get down near there do it a bit gently, yeah? And make sure the ruler is facing flatwood down. As you can see, the paper is being removed. But it does take a little while for it to come off. Because don't forget, these labels are like five or six times bigger than the normal postal stamp. So it will take time. Just gently do it. If the paper suddenly starts getting a bit dry, just apply a bit more of the solution. But don't put too much on. I've actually tried doing this in hot soapy water, but um, it didn't work. I know it works for stamps, but it didn't work for um, these labels. And uh, once the paper's off, you'll find that where the label once had the uh, its own sticky glue substance on it still has some on there how and why I don't know but it has um, and to prove that I know this hasn't got any sticky kind of stuff in there you know you can stick your finger in and it doesn't stick to anything but to show that this has still got um, some of the glue from previous life I can actually pick up the stamp with my fingers. Just 
a little bit more here. So, all in all, that's the rest of the left off. That's the first bit. That's the second bit. That's your label. All ready to put into your stamp album. Or if you ain't got no room in the stamp album, you use one of those um, sticky tabs, what you use on stamps, and put it on there. Now, if you don't want to use your own stamps, um, then you can always go online and buy some. Uh, just buy like five ounces or something. I actually sell on eBay, uh, and you can buy from me. And I'll do five ounces of um, merchant definite stamps, i.e. this type. Uh, all on paper for about 99p. You get five ounces. It's probably about 50, 60 stamps, maybe more. Uh, you can buy bigger quantities if you like. I do sell stamps off paper as well. I also sell the um, Merchants Horizon labels on paper. Um, my eBay address is Electronics and Stamps. I've also just opened the web shop up. My camera is now starting to play up. And this is my web shop. You can buy stamps off me there as well. Also, Horizon labels, including the Hard to Come By Welsh post parental um, labels. Well, that's my second video. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, probably bring another video up later on how to get sticky labels off a of paper. Not labels as in this type of label. If I can quickly find the one I had. It's like the post and go ones, um, the bird type. Uh, I actually got a, um, a TNT label and I was able to get that one off. I think it's in this envelope actually. Yes, it is. You can actually use the substance to get these labels off. And I'm going to try to find other things you can get labels off of. Well, thanks again for watching. Again, here's my eBay shop. and my watch shop. Thanks, have a good night.